Hello everyone, sorry for the delay, I've just spent literally two hours editing my first video for my YouTube series and the introduction video was only three minutes long, it took me two hours. I am not happy right now, so, um, but it will get easier um, at the end of the day, it will get easier to produce these things. So I'm sorry for the delay, I hope um, the people who looked earlier if they are if there is anybody here that looked earlier i do apologize but um these things happen but yeah it took me two hours honestly i'm to go back re-listen change it up i didn't realize how um like how much you needed to do basically so but we're here now um and we're going to get started so um but i hope everyone's okay hope everyone's having a nice day today uh still miserable weather as always got my feet soaked walking earlier went to the gym started um a new thing today so basically i walk to the gym as usual do my gym session and then before i leave i walk on the treadmill for one mile and i try and run a bit of it as well i hate running i get i get instantly i feel instantly sick within about a minute of running Absolutely hate it, but I'm trying to push myself to do it more. So the plan is to do a walk a mile on the treadmill every time I go to the gym, which is two or three times a week, and then try and get a faster do do a mile in a quicker time, and just and then just build on that and see how I get on with that. Really, um, well, we can actually move that across. That's good. So I'll just give a quick recap where we are at the moment. So um. So this season in the summer, we're now in the 16th of September. So we I think the transfer window's finished. We managed to sign Ossimhen, Brian Diaz. Um, Brian Diaz and Lewis Hall were already agreed on from last season. We also signed Sergio Busquets, who joins his friend Leo, Miss Leo Messi, because the end of last season, I managed to agree a deal to sign Leo Messi for Newcastle for 20 million. So I signed him, I signed his mate Busquets, and then I signed Jordi Alba as well, and uh, Luis Suarez. But yeah, so we've got a quite a good team at the moment. If I just quickly go to the tactics section here, do that. Now, Austin M's usually up front. We've also got Pedro Gonzalez from Sporting, and we also signed Gonzalo Iniacho as well. A lot of these come last season. Towards the end of last season, um, I'll just quickly show you. Uh, that's it. There we go. So um, yeah, so we signed David Martinez, Pedro Gonzalez, Luis Suarez, Leo Messi, Lionel Messi, Gonzalo Iniesta, and Jordi Alba as well. So we are. Currently third in the league after five games played. We've only lost one game. That was to Arsenal, 1-0. I think that was the last game we played on stream. So, yeah, so we, we were champions last season. Let's hope we can do it again. Um, hello to anybody in the chat room. I will keep checking. Feel free to say hello, contribute in the chat. And if you want to ask me anything about the save or football manager or football or if you're a wrestling fan, always open to talk about wrestling still got to catch up with the last couple of weeks of AEW. i won't have a chance to watch it today and i haven't watched the paper yet i know pay-per-view yet i know who um i know the results of the AEW pay-per-view but it's not having the time to watch it now too much wrestling for me i have to kind of pick and choose yeah we've got ac milan now in the Champions League. So our team for the game against AC Milan is Pope in goal. And then we've got Trippier as right back, Mancini in defence, in central defence with Botman, target left back, Bruno Gomez in midfield with Joe Linton, Lionel Messi on the right wing, 
Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osim Hen up front. We seem, we seem to have a very strong, I think we've got, like, I feel like we've got a stronger team than we did last season because we haven't really sold many players, but we've added a lot, and I feel like we've got a bit more depth to the squad as well. I know a few of the players I signed up are old and probably only going to last a season, but they're, they're quality players to have in there and in the dressing room as well. Is this a penalty to them already? This is not the best start. One minute into the game, and we're already going to give them a penalty by the looks of it. Uh, hopefully you'll miss. Or Pope. Come on, Pope. Save it. Oh, come on, Pope. Um, at any point, if, it, if, if, the, if you can't hear me talking, can you just message in the chat and let me know? So I know what's going on. Because my the, the cable that I've connected my mic to my computer is playing up a bit, or it's the oh for God's sake, this is not this is not good at all. Um, it's either the cable and the mic that's playing up because it's ever, it's it's ever so sensitive, or dreading it, and it might be the the bottom of the, the mic where you put the cable in, and and if it's that, it's going to be hard to repair but i did buy it from cx so hopefully i can i've got two years warranty on it so if it breaks within the times of me using it um i can re hopefully get them to fix it or give them money back and i'll have to get another one got one back thanks to joe linton and demand more hopefully that will help Drink I've got today is Vinto Energy Drink. Anybody that's curious about that? Really nice. I wouldn't recommend drinking them all the time though. I used to drink I used to drink a can of monster nearly every day. That was really bad, that was. And um AC Milan seem like they're all over us in this game. I'm not happy about this. Oh, it's the new format. Who the hell are they? The Green Greenland team in the in the Champions League. Okay, random. Got a few players knackered. I'm just going to make some subs. Um. Alma and on for him. Um, targets knackered as well, so we'll put burn on. We'll be back for now. We don't want to use up too much of our subs at this early into the game. Fire. Trippier now. Keeps possession, gives it to Bruno Gomez. Gomez now with the ball to Joe Linton. Joe Linton to Messi. What a pass by Messi. Great defending by them. Corner to us now. Oh, could have done more with that. Disappointing, lads. This is not a good performance. Got a few more players knackered. Take off Messi. We'll put uh, Correa on. And we'll put Gordon on. Hopefully that all the fresh legs will um, help us get a goal basically. Live Romento on on the right. Hopefully that will make any more sums. No, I didn't think we could have made enough. Press the wrong thing, then I meant to press um, fire. Oh well. Not the best starts in our Champions League campaign, especially when we want to try and get further than the quarterfinals, but I mean, it is AC Milan. They are a very good team. Rafael Leo, Leo, one of the best players on FM, so um, yeah, we'll hopefully beat them next game we play. 
So Southgate is looking at Nick Pope, Kieran Trippier and Matthew Target for the next England squad in ours. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit annoyed I'm starting late today, so I do apologise. I'll be on till 5 o'clock uh, for the people watching on Twitch and the people who watch on YouTube. I appreciate your, I appreciate your support as well. Always appreciate it. I know it's a bit confusing watching somebody talk to somebody on Twitch like I did yesterday when they don't know what the other person's saying. I will rectify that. I meant to do it today, but I didn't get time to do it. But I will sort it so you can kind of see what the people are typing uh, to me. You a better idea. Got Man United next game. That's not going to be an easy game either. We've had a bloody tough run of it the last couple of games. We had Arsenal with AC Milan. Oh no, we have Fulham. We beat Fulham. We've got Man United. Hopefully we can beat Brentford and Burnley. Playing this team here, which I think they're... Uh, where are they from? Bosnia. Still can't believe there's a Greenlandic team in the... Santa Coloma. There are a lot of weird teams in this, this group here. I suppose they're just giving everybody a chance to play, aren't they? This is definitely champion. It feels, this feels more like the Europa League, the teams in here. Uh, Inter Club, another Andorian team. So there's two Andorian teams in this Champions League group. So weird. It must be something to do with um, some of the files I've got on my on my system. Who are they? North and, uh, Greenland. What? What? I don't understand. There's like two Greenlandic teams. I can't remember what the other one's called. Where are they, where are they from? I mean, yeah. There's all the top teams. They're up here, aren't they? No, they ain't, because look. They're the bloody Azerbaijan. I can't pronounce it. I'm not even going to try it. Albanian team. You got Inter Milan. Oh, I don't know. Very confusing. Oh, poor Curry has got the flu. Hope he feels better soon. I know it's like to have the flu. It's uh, very, uh, very bad. Especially man flu. Man flu, worst thing you could ever get. Ask any woman and they'll tell you. Worst, man flu, worse than giving birth. They'll tell you that for sure. There goes any uh, female uh, supporters I had on here. They'll all be unsubscribing to me as we speak. Right then, so we've got that line up for Man United. The game against Man United, sorry. We've got Pope in goal, Trippy right back, Mancini. Ignacio makes his debut, I think. Or does he? No, I think he's played. No, he's not, he's not played any first team games in the Premier League. Makes his first start in the Premier League, target. And then we've got Bruno and Tenali. Messi on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Tottenham up front. Pardon me. Good start there, Osimhen. Is it going to be allowed though? The VAR. Oh, this allows, that's unfortunate. Close by Brahim, a bit wide. Brahim Diaz now, Mancini. Mancini with a nice little pass to Brahim. 
Raheem with the shot, goalie saves it. We've got the corner now, floats in, goalie easily saves it. Very disappointing set piece there by Trippier, he's usually better than that. This is going to be a defensive mistake coming up here by Man United. Would be very reflective of real life, but no. They've got the ball now. Still in possession. Great tackle by target there. I know it still keep possession. Rashford now. That was it. I could see that. Oh, and we're, will VAR come to our rescue? Oh, no, it won't. That is unfortunate. Now a possession, Bruno, target, target keeps the possession, gives it to Inecio, target loses the ball, and now we're being break. No, Mancini luckily gives it to Pope. Pope now to Trippier. Trippier, what's he going to do? Why is he going all the way over there? Stay in position, thank you. Target on the left. Nice little, well, it was a nice little bit of pass in there. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, thank God for that, Bruno. Not, not the usual. Uh, Bruno usually does better than that. Fernandez. On, you know, as much as he's a bit of a moaner, I'm glad he's at Man United because there's been games where he's saved that bacon. Right, Mancini now. Trippier. Trippier back to Mancini. Out on the left. The target. Oh, here we go. Is this going to be a goal? Here we go, Messi, the, the goat. Oh, Messi. Come on. Not like you. Played much better than that. Played well for us this season. Oh, we're back in possession, though. Target. Nice little pass. Just over by us and them. We're, uh, we're starting a bit slow in this game. Can't be losing to the big teams because that's gonna it's gonna affect our chances in in the Premiership game. I think we need to win the Premiership every season, basically. We'll get the uh, club's record so we can sign uh, the big players. We ain't gonna be able to do that if we don't win anything. We're at half time, Man United are winning one nil. I up the players. Messi with the free kick. Oh, a bit of magic there by Lionel Messi. Man United with the throne now. Hopefully, we can get this ball and counter attack. Oh, we nearly conceded another goal then. We need to really control this game. Um, I need to make some subs. Isaac. Gordon. Yeah, is coming off. Let Messi off as well. No, we can't. I see you've got, to, you've got to play the rest of the game, buddy. Oh. Oh, we were lucky, we were lucky then. We've been really sloppy in this game. Um, we're a bit out of form at the moment. Not ideal. If we lose this game, we're going to be six points behind Arsenal and Man United. That's not what we want. Make it very hard for us. If we get a late equaliser though, that will help. But no, probably not. Oh, Almiron to Gordon. Gordon injured at the moment. Floats it in. Oh, he's that. Come on. That was yours on the plate, that was. Uh, this is not good. We're now fifth. 
We're six points behind Man United and Arsenal. We've really got to get things going. We can give the players a rest because the Carabao Cup's next, so I'll just be playing my young players in that. Um, Minte put in a very good performance. That's good. Uh, I've had DVD didn't play well, so you're going to get a telling off, young man. Uh, I'm going to praise Minte. Okay. okay, fair enough. He thought he wasn't playing that well. I thought he was, according to the report. But he didn't like that. We've got Brentford in the Carabao Cup in the next game. That will literally be a game where our youth players will be playing. They're doing well this season. It's only six games played, but they're doing well. Six in the league. Raheem Diaz is an ankle injury. How long is he out for? Oh, only one day. Not too bad. Making it sound like it was like a season ending injury there. Uh, we'll add him. We'll add him. Just try and add as many as the best players in the world as possible. Um, he'd be a long-term target, but I don't think we're going to be able to afford him when they want that much for him. So uh, we'll pick youth prospects, even though it won't pick many youth prospects because we haven't got many. Um, it's a sort of a... Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, look, can he play on defensive midfield? Yeah, he's pretty good actually, to be honest. Bloody hell. Four to five star potential. Sorry, three to four star potential. 15 year old. And then we've got him who's not very good in the middle. Actually, I'm not going to do this. I'm, I haven't got enough good players in the youth team to do this. I'll just do full rotation. So we've got Chirpin in goal, Libramento is right back, Diomande in middle of defence with his teammate from Sporting, Inicio, Jordi Alba on the left, Lewis Hall in the middle with Sergio Busquets, Coot on the right, Almiron in the middle, Barnes on the left, Isaac up front. Let's go. Let me know what you've been up to today. I've been uh, very quite busy. I was up. Um, now I've got my girlfriend living with me. She has to get up early for work. So she gets up about just before 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm one of them people, once I'm up, I'm up. I can't go back to sleep. So I'm, I've got used to getting up early with her now. So I, I wait for her. And then when, she's up, when she leaves, I head off with her and I... I uh, walk to the gym, which is about a couple of miles away. I walk to the gym, I do my gym session in the morning. It's nice and quiet, 
relatively quiet. I ain't saying that though, I was there this morning about eight o'clock and it was quite busy. Um, but I suppose people go before work, don't they? But yeah, so I was in there, got my session done, did my extra cardio, and then headed back. And I literally spent, after making a few phone calls, I had to make a few phone calls, I had to ring up. I had to ring up Sky because I got rid of my Sky Cinema last month and they still didn't take it off. I had to ring up them and that was like a 20 minute call that wasn't needed because they're incompetent. Um, and then basically I rung up EE to double check something that was asked to be taken off and they were like they confirmed it so didn't need to worry about that. And then um, basically I just cracked on trying to do some um, video editing because I've never done it before. Now it will get easier um, as it goes along. But I li it literally took me two hours to do a three minute intro video for YouTube. And it's not perfect that, that either. But the problem is I was trying to edit myself because I'm known to say um and ah and like a lot and that comes across as off putting. So I had to edit myself quite a bit. I'm hoping I can edit myself as I'm doing the videos. So I like I can stop I try and stop myself saying um and ah and like and stuff like that. Just just physical ticks that we have. A little tap in my ear. That way, it'll make my job a lot easier when it comes to editing. In the long run, I won't need to edit much, and I just just need to, you know, break it up a bit. Maybe add a few animations and break, like I said, break the video a bit. So I'm hoping moving forward, it won't take so long. But I recorded a I recorded about an hour of a Everton video today. I'm going to try and edit that down to. Oh, that's annoying. Only with the equaliser is it going to be allowed? Or was it Joe Wilcox, our former player? Goal awarded, that's annoying. Our former, I oh know, assist by Joe Wilcox, Ivan Toe. Two of our former players contributing to the score against us. Almiron is playing rubbish, so we're going to substitute him. Put Tyler Jones on, we'll give him a debut. Uh, we'll take off Gibramento. Um, yeah, so I've got an hour video for my new save on YouTube with Everton. Um, I started that today, basically clearing out all the clutter, the rubbish players, the players that want to leave, because the Everton save I've got, it was a Tycoon save file I, I downloaded, which um, basically Everton get taken over by somebody richer than the, the owners of Man City, pretty much, and Newcastle. and they had five five hundred million in the bank. Um, well, let me just watch this penalty first. Come on, Isa. Ooh, yes, go on. Um, yeah. So they Everton got five hundred million in the bank. They're they're going to make more and more as it goes along. My transfer budgets for the next three years are one hundred and eighty million, one hundred and ninety five million, and two hundred and ten million in the third season in charge. That will probably go up if I go to get up because what's fun about this Everton save is Everton get relegated in the end of season one. So I take over at the end of season one, they're relegated, but they've got the richest bloke in the world basically in charge of them. Um, and like I said, you get a ridiculous amount of money. And then also half your squad wants to leave because they don't want to be playing championship football. So you make more money from player sales. So at the moment, I think I've got like 250, maybe just on, over that and a massive wage budget because of cutting out I had like I got given 2.9 million wage budget but then obviously I've got even more than that now uh, because of all the players going so I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store um, Christmas is Christmas and birthday all in one so um, it's going to be an interesting save because I'm going to try and get as many English players as possible but eventually I'm going to once I get promoted to the premiership it's all about signing the big players, basically. Well, try to anyway. Oh, come on, Barnes. That's the worst time to bloody. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we're going to be in the Carabao Cup much longer. Hopefully, Pope can uh, shred room. Come on, no, we're out. We're out. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. The Everton save will be an interesting one. 
I'm hoping to put the hour video into two and then uh, post the first half an hour video tonight if I can edit it enough and then second part tomorrow hopefully but we'll see who's a target for Bruno is a target for a Saudi team well you're going to have to give me the top money for him I'm not selling Bruno I'm going to offer him a new contract instead get rid of that will that make him our biggest owner at the club Do this. No, it won't. It'll be second. It'll be up there with these two. It'll be the biggest earner from the original spot that we got. Yeah. Right, Burnley away next. We're on a bit of a bad run at the moment. Tyler Jones. Um, it's a new team record. We've beaten Steve Watson. That's an old. If Steve Watson, he he was in the nineties, so that's that's like thirty five years or something ago. Let's uh, see if we can do a team meeting to try and encourage the lads a bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. Hopefully that'll help. Quite funny in my um, in my Everton save um, as I started in season two. Basically, there's a lot of transfer rumours about Newcastle signing Victor Osimhen, which is quite funny because obviously I've signed him in this save. So uh, obviously, great minds think alike. Oh, could we sign Bernard Bernardo Silva? I mean, we can't sign him now, but we'll add him to the shortlist. Imagine a team with Bernardo Silva, uh, Leo, Lionel Messi, and Austin then in it. We need to win this game. It's very important we win this next game. It's going to be tough because it's Burnley away. So Mavadidi had a quiet game before being substituted in the 83rd minute, so he's still not performing. We'll probably get rid of him when we get a chance because he's not very good. In fact, I'll just do that. that. I think I got my head turned because he had a good performance in the Carabao Cup match last season. Minty continues to play well for Everton, which is quite funny, the other team. Um, oh yeah, I've managed to buy a Newcastle United. Oh, I don't, I can't remember what season it's from. Um, a couple of years ago, they had, I think it was Fuji Films or something. Um, just have a quick look on my phone. Um, purchases. So it's oh, it's last season's. So it's last season's Newcastle United top. Um, managed to get it for seventeen quid. I wasn't going to go all out. I could have got this season's one, but they wanted I think twenty five quid, and I just couldn't be bothered to spend that much. I might look at getting that one down the road. Um, down the line. Sorry. But yeah, and I managed to get a couple of Everton polo tops to um, for my Everton save. I couldn't find an Everton football shirt cheap enough. So yeah, bear with me two seconds. It's alright, it was a message on eBay because I sell, I sell stuff on eBay and I was just a bit... When I get a message on eBay, I always think it's uh, somebody complaining about something. 
but 99% of the time it's not. It's usually just messages to say they've got the right and they're happy. Uh, always a few that moan though makes it a bit annoying. Yeah. So uh, Minty's doing really well at the moment for Everton. He's played eight games. He's scored one goal and he's got four assists. And he's got a 7.41 rating. Um, it was a it was a good move to make to to loan him out to Everton. Right then, so the team against Burnley is Pope against his former team. Livramento is right back. Mancini, Ineccio, centre back combination. Jordi Alba is left back. Bruno Gomez and Tenali in the centre midfield, and then we've got Correa on the right. Pedro Gonzalez in the middle. Gordon on the left, and Osim Hen up front. Quite a strong team to be putting against. Hello to whoever's joined the chat. Feel free to message me in the chat and. Uh, if you want to talk or you want to ask me anything about this save as you've just joined um, just to let you know basically doing a save with Newcastle I'm in season 2 I won the Premier League title in my first season and um, basically signed Messi and OCM for season 2 hopefully next season I can sign somebody like Mbappe or Haaland if I win another Premier League or if I win a Champions League title but it's going to be tough winning the Premier League this season now. We're already six points behind. We've got to beat Burnley. Got to close that gap because if we keep drawing and losing, we're just not going to get it. And also, Arsenal's got a game in hand as well. They win it. That's 21. Oh, we'll have a look in a second. Come on, Pope. Come on. We should have, we should have uh, been a bit quicker on that one, shouldn't we? Gordon now to Jordi Alba. Gordon. Oh, lovely little pass there. Oh, nearly. We shouldn't be losing or drawing to Burnley. No offence, Burnley fans. I still, I still don't like Burnley not being in charge with, uh, not having Sean Dice in charge. I just feel like it's not Burnley. Just an imitation of their former selves. Come on, Pedro. Oh, what a ball to Ossian. Ossian now. Oh, come on. You did, this hard, you did the hard part and made it easy, and then you fucked it. Oh, oh Jordi Alba now. Did he shoot? He does. Saved by their goalkeeper there. At least we're not losing, so at least it's that. Half time. Drawing. Don't accept a draw against Burnley, though. Even if it is an away game, we should be beating them. Adrian Gonzalez now. Gordon loses the ball. That's not good. Come on. We can't have this to be a highlight for Burnley. We need to get this ball back. Fire up the players. I'm not having this. Thank God there. that player isn't very good at shooting. Mancini now. Jordi Al yeah, Alba, sorry. Uh, Inacio. Or Inacio, depending on how you pronounce his name. I have no idea. Mancini now. Sonali. Osimen, nearly. Saved by their goalie. I think he's the former Chelsea goalie, if I remember. Corner now. Nicely saved by their goalkeeper. Come on, we should be doing better than this. This is disappointing. We just should be winning. Our XG tells us we should have got at least one and a half goal, so you'd think by theory we should have scored by now. Oh, it's going to be another game we're going to draw and lose points on. It's an annoying thing with football manager. You, you, you go on a little bit of a bad run and it's very hard to get yourself back out of it. Ah. 
That's what I like to see. Is it going to be? There's no inter yet. That's good. That's a nice little winner. Hopefully we won't concede now. Got to keep this game. Go very defensive. Let's go time wasting. Still time for Burnley to get a late equaliser, and we do not need that. Great bit of defending by us. Joe Linton now. Almiron, are we going to do a bit of shit house three years? A waste of a bit of time. Hopefully we are. Trippier. The pass to Libramento. Libramento now. Is he going to shoot? Oh, he does. A good save by the goalie. Still time for Burnley. Get a late equaliser. Let's hope that does not happen. Thank God for that. We really, I'm glad we won that game. I was starting to worry. We're back up to fourth now. Um, we're flipping six points behind Arsenal. Uh, sorry, six points behind Man United. Three points behind Arsenal. If we can get up to here next month, it's still. I, I don't know why I'm stressing. There's literally only six games being played. I think people are watching this going, "What are you worried about? Six games, seven games played. Stop stressing." Gordon out for four seven days, bruised ankle. We should beat these team. I've never even heard. Of. I think they're. Uh... Where are they from? Bosnia. We should beat these. Next game. Got any players that are knackered? Yeah, we have actually. Right, so, a lot of these in the youth team. Let me get rid of these. All right, so that's that done. Um, nah, we don't need to rest anyone. We're all right. Praise Alibi. Dio Mande back to full fitness. I feel like left back in January is the position we really need to. We need someone to um challenge target as the left back because Jordi Alba is playing a few games but 35 he's not the long term person we need there we need a young left back with potential that can eventually take over from target Bruno signed a new contract so that keeps him away from the Saudi Arabians for now Um, we've got Zinrinsky Mosta from Bosnia next. Good. Really, keep these. We've got Nick Pope in goal, Trippier, Mancini, Botman, and Target in defence. Bruno, Gomez, and Tonali in midfield. Messi on the right, Almiron in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Austin Penn up front. Probably our strongest team. Got to, uh, we've got to win this game.
Oh, just pressed the wrong thing. That was not good. I press. Have a look in a minute. There we go. Pressed uh, calm down for some reason, so that's probably why it's confused the players because they're like, what do you mean, calm down? Nice start to the game. Almiron scores. We need to be strong in the Champions League. Didn't have the best of starts losing to AC Milan, but hopefully we can get a nice big win over these. Uh, give us the confidence in the next Champions League game. Not if they equalise. They're playing some good football, fair play to them. Nice bit of passing there. Already got Bruno Naka, so we're gonna take him off. Not oh, good idea. So Winton, maybe. Um, I think we'll swap. So Linton with an alley. There you go. Messi with the corner now. Nali with the ball. Floats it across to Pedro Gonzalez. Target now to Almiron. We lose the ball. I'm quite surprised by this Bosnian team. They're, a lot, they're playing a lot better than I thought we would. I thought we'd be beating them 4 or 5 nil by now. But Oh, Pedro with the volley. Trippier now with the throw in to Messi. Messi to Joe Linton. What's he going to do? Crosses it in. Keep possession of the ball to Nali. Out wide to Trippier. Trippier now. Taps it in. Oh, clearance by them. Nearly scored them. Right. Pedro shoots again. He's been a bit greedy in this game. I know he's an inside forward, but he'd been better off floating the ball into the box there. Osimhen injured. That is not what we need to. Uh, not what we wanted at the stage of the season. Hopefully, it's nothing major. Can we get another goal? Not at the moment, we can't. We really need to kill this game off. We're giving them a chance to get an equaliser at this rate. Uh, Livermento on us take off. Zarves put Clarir on. This is worrying me a bit. Oh. Good tackle there by target. Can we get another goal, please? Off Mancini, put Dan Burn on. Saved by Pope. Really stops my anxiety in this game. Um, Pope, you're not the best with ball control, so I wouldn't do that again. Target. Almiron, a nice little pass to Correa. Oh, I thought that was going to be one of them Hollywood passes then. Oh my god, so we've got Isaac and Osimhen injured. We can't even take, can't even replace them. Oh no, I hope they're not long term injuries. Even a couple of weeks each is going to throw us over because we're not exactly flush with strikers. I suppose we can play Messi. Oh, we've got Suarez, actually. We've got Luis Suarez. I suppose he can play up front, but not ideal, really, because Suarez is, up, no offence, is getting on a bit. So he's out for six weeks. Osimhen's out for six weeks with a hamstring strain. And he's, this accident injured with three to five weeks with a fucking, sorry for swearing, I apologise, um, with a twisted ankle. That is not good. 
Yeah, down to bare bones, you're damn right we are. I mean, we could play Gordon up front, but more of a winger. I mean, this is an idea of what the team could be in the next game, depending on what happens. But Messi up front, and he, and he lasts the whole game. I mean, he's playing Luton, so you think he'd be right up there, but Luton's doing well this season. At eight, they're uh, definitely doing better than is expected. Sorry, just uh, add an itch. Uh, right. We signed many people. I've never heard of him before. Uh, Luton player. Who, oh, he's only just signed from two goals and seven games. Not too bad for them. Team looks basically the same. He's he's not one that played from this season. Season. Oh, he did play from last season. I'm corrected. Ebo. Heard of him before. Signed him on a free in last season. In Che. Like a good little player. 4.1 million from Bromley. Really done well with that one. I don't know who's the goalie, but yeah. So hopefully, touch wood. Should be um, ready to go two o'clock tomorrow, streaming wise, unless it's an absolute disaster. Um, I had a bit of a delay when I was trying to record my video earlier. Really. I was trying to get it all set up on OBS Studio, which is what I use to stream. I was just having enough of a nightmare trying to get it all set up right, and one thing after the other was happening. It was driving me mad. Yeah, basically, it took me about an hour or two to. To set it up on OBS, and then about half an hour to record the three-minute video because I kept I kept stopping and starting again because I was trying to get it just right. Um, and about an hour and a half to edit the video. Anyway, right. So next game we have got is against Luton in the Premier League. We've got Pope in goal, Trippier is right back, Dio Mande in the centre defence with Botman, Jordi Alba's left back, Bruno Gomez and Joe Linton. In the middle of midfield, Messi on the right, Almiron in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Correa up front. Okay, so we'll give that a go. You never know. I don't know if he's played up front much, but hopefully you'll do all right. Barkley now, Luton. Great save by Pope. Can we get rid of it? Good save there by Pope. Jordi Alba now with the throw in. Oh. Post there, blaster shot. What I used to call it a blaster shot. My my, my mate Rich, he was um, he just had, we called it rocket foot with him because he'd literally just smash the ball from uh, about hundred miles an hour from the other side of the pitch, and it would just it just rattle off the crossbar in the park I used to play in. I mean, the pitches we used to play in are very small compared. You wouldn't have been able to do that in a proper stadium because you wouldn't be able to get it that far across, but. Yeah, we used to call it rocket foot with him. I used to love playing heads and volleys when I was a kid. Was, uh, do you remember playing heads and volleys, or did you call it something else when you were a kid? We used to play this. We used to team up. We used to go in pairs as well. And whenever, you, if you scored, whoever scored in the pair, you get through to the next round. I can't remember what the, what we called it, but basically that's what we used to do as well. Um, we used to have about. 20 of us on a small park and um, trying to score and then obviously once we scored we got to sit and wait for the next round and then whoever was the last team in that round were eliminated and um, me, and my, me and my mate at the time we were probably like the two technical worst players but we were pretty good because we were little poachers we'd just stay near the six well not even six yard three yard 
box and basically just get on any rebound and score. We were quite sneaky with that. It's quite funny. So we're one nil up. Alma on scores. Got an Bruno's injured again. Or knackered. Uh, who can we put on for him? Busquets. Come on, Botman. That's it. There we go. I got a bit worried then, thinking it was going to be a looting goal. Trippier now on the right. First forward. Messi. Back to Diomande. What can he do? Drives it forward. Pass it sideways to Trippier. Trippier now. Messi, the magician. What can he do? Back to Trippier. Joe Linton. Will Joe Linton shoot? He does. He nearly scores. Um, take Messi off, we'll put Coot on. Take Trippier off, we'll put Supermento on for now. We'll see how it goes in a minute as well. Need to get another goal. Obviously, I don't mind a 1 0 win against Luton, but oh, what a great interception! Libramento now speeds across. Passes it back to Coot. Coot now to Almiron. Almiron with the shot. Great save by their goalie. He's getting a lot of rave reviews. Um, Kaminsky in real life. He's, he'll probably end up going to Luton. Don't survive in the Premiership. I can see Kaminsky going to a decent mid table team in the Premiership because he's a very good player. What I've seen. But he might come across as a good goalkeeper because he, he has to do a lot of saves, I suppose. Cause if you're a goalkeeper for Luton Town, you're going to be constantly attacked. But he's done well. He's doing well in this game as well, keeping me from getting another goal. Jordi Alba now with the, with the corner. Save with the goalkeeper. Right, let's take off Almiron. Put Suarez in there. And then we'll put Harvey Barnes on there. Suarez to make his debut, I think. Jordi Alba now with the free kick. And he drive it forward to Suarez to get the ball. Oh. oh, Joe Linton with the bullet header. Great, great cross there by Jordi Alba. Maybe I don't need to get a... I mean, Alba's got two assists in this game. He's been absolutely brilliant. In fact, I'm going to get him to sign a new contract. Oh, he won't yet. Um, he'll probably retire no more luck. He's he's brought a bit of class to that left back position. I think he's ousted out target by the looks of it. That target's played a few games, don't get me wrong, but it's not like target's playing every game because Alba's been playing as well. I mean, on the on the pitch at the moment, we've got. I oh know we haven't got Messi. Oh, I don't know what's happened here. I don't know why it's not showed the highlight. I do apologise. If I click this, will that help? If I click this, no. Lit. No. Right, now I'll try it. I'll click that now. There we go. Sorry about that. So we've got Libramento who tapped it in, um, crossed it in, and then Suarez just blasted it in. Good old Luis Suarez, eh? Nice 3-0 win. With that, we are now third in the Premiership. We're only three points behind the other two, so that's good. They've got a game, uh, hand, yeah, game in hand, though. So, technically, that'll be still, I'd say, six points ahead of us. Right, so we've only, we haven't got a game for 14 days, so I'm just going to holiday. So, just on doing that, I'm just going to have a little browse on the old internet for a second. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit quiet, don't worry. I'm just doing something else for a minute, but won't be long.
just going to share on the Fly Games forums because I started a thread ages ago, um, a few weeks ago when I had the idea to do streaming, and then I've had a lot of help from people. Sometimes I've not taken took the criticism in the right way, which is my fault because I'm quite a sensitive person and I won't be afraid. I used to think I had a thick skin, but I don't think I do. Um, but bear with us anyway. I'm just still here, don't worry. I've nearly finished what I'm doing. So we're back. Sorry about that. Um, that. Uh, see if anything's happened. Hopefully, no major injuries during the international break. That's always nice to see, but I don't think that's going to happen. Gavin Doyle, never heard of. Oh, that's good. Have a DD. Maybe being on the transfer list is giving that kick up the ass. Uh, can I recall you? Oh. Sorry, I'm itching. My foot. So it would go away, but it's not. You know, when you've got an itch and you just need to bloody scratch it, there's nothing else you can do. Oh, I don't. Sorry, let me fix it. Right, there you go. I like, I like doing the Twitch streaming because I can literally, it's live, so I can't edit myself. So I just, just myself. Whereas the YouTube videos, I'm having to edit little things like when I'm saying like or um or ah, uh, and if I'm going off on a tangent too long, I have to edit it and stuff like that. And then I have to try and make it sound like it sounds really good when it don't. So, um, like I said, I did my first edited video for YouTube today and just, I've just posted it in the side game forums to see what people think. Um, I've already pre-warned them that it's not very good at all, but it'll do and I will get better because you can't get better unless you practice. And uh, like I said, I've got an hour's worth of stuff for the Everton uh, save. I've got to edit that. I was hoping to do it today, but it took me literally two hours to edit the introduction video. So um, I'll have to do it tomorrow. But I'll have plenty of time tomorrow because I'll be up about seven o'clock as usual. So I'll have a couple of hours before I go to the post office. And then if I've got to go back and do a bit more, I can. But at least I've got the time to do it. And then I can record some more for the Everton same and then edit that before I start live streaming. So I'm hoping to get in a routine of doing that. And then it makes it. A little bit easier in the long run we'll see right then so we've got Nottingham Forest away in the Premier League now we've got Pope in goal Trippier Dio Monday Inetio Target Sonali Joe Linton Correa Raheem Diaz 
Pardon me. Um, Barnes and Isaac. We do we get in a few more? No, not there. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got, mm, no, we could do with some more English players, to be honest. I might look into see if I can bring in from the England squad or something, if possible. All right, let's see how we get on. and finish this energy. Well, that was a great goal by um, Hudson O'Doy. I'll tell you what's not a Forest player I'm really impressed with lately is Gordon, um, Gordon, Morgan did right. Whenever I've seen Forrest play uh, either a match a day or a live football match, he's been really good. He should be playing for England and he should be playing for somebody no offence to Nottingham Forest. He should be playing for somebody better than Nottingham Forest. I was amazed Wolves let him go, to be honest, because he was a Wolves, Wolves boy through and through, I think. Uh, Dillard should go for him, really, to be honest. Yeah, he's a really good player. That's a good look at trying to sign him. Uh, Let's add him as well because he scouts him, he might not be good enough. Um, not on the forest, do this way. Um, there we go, give right. It's only 24 as well, so still got loads of time left to get even better. But yeah, um, he's only rated at C minus, but. He's not rated as well in FM. He should be rated better than this, I think. I'll still sign him anyway. Like I said, English player helps with homegrown rules as well. We need to we need to concentrate on getting this game back. Uh, if we don't win this game, we're six points behind again, and it, it's just going to get bigger and bigger the more we lose. I can't afford to lose any games at the moment. Quiet second half is not good. Is this going to be? Highlight for us, or are we going to lose the ball? And then is it going to be another Nottingham Forest goal? Oh, ah, uh. Anthony Gordon on for Diaz now. He's that's back from injury, um, so that's good. Do we off the end back though? Oh, come on. I've never heard of him. I'm going to break these players. Hopefully that will give them a kick up the arse. We cannot lose this game and we're running out of time. He's that needs to come off. Suarez. So Linton's not playing very well, but Bus gets on. And the former Bartha boys help us. Um, I think everybody else has been playing relatively okay. Uh, 